Hey everybody, David here, and today I want to talk about this Captain Marvel controversy. The movie's not even out yet, and we already got a bunch of trolls uh, trolling on Rotten Tomatoes, once again, uh, on the movie before it even comes out. Now, last year we had a similar problem with some fanboys, DC fanboys, I think some people were calling them, uh, I don't think all of them were DC fanboys, but I, th I think some of them were also racists. Uh, yeah, I'm pulling out the race card. Um, that didn't want to see a movie that had diversity succeed. Um, that's it, it was why that movie of all movies, why didn't Infinity War also get that kind of uh, an attack? Because there are some stupid fanboys out there that, you know, want to see... A movie that's trying to uh, diversify our movie going experience by putting it down and this is the same exact situation so I think some of the people that are attacking this movie are sexists uh, that's right and I think some of them could be DC fans too I don't want to throw everybody that are DC fans under the bus because guess what I am also a DC fan but I do get a little frustrated when seeing things like this. On Rotten Tomatoes right now, if you go there, the audience score of wanting to see the film is at 28%. Um, you'd think that, you know, with, you know, a lot of people who, critics who have seen the movie already, tweet, uh, everything looks really positive right now for this film. There are still a bunch of fanboys that are like so angry and want to downgrade this movie and want to make sure that it fails because of the type of movie that it is uh it really it really pisses me off because it just shows that there are a couple of morons out there that just don't get it that just think about themselves they think this is the only movie that matters i'm only gonna judge a movie i read some of the reviews by the way and a lot of them are basing their opinion on the trailer which is kind of stupid um normally when you see movies like this on rotten tomatoes it always ha has like 98 percent wanting to see it maybe 78 percent wanting to see it uh i never seen something like this get a 28 percent so it is unusual because usually if people don't want to see it they don't care about going to the page and voting for it this is being done deliberately to attack this movie because they want people to think that uh, it's getting low reviews, whatever. Um, I, <laughs> uh, I I hate that articles because I have read a few headlines and they have got me. They I have thought it was something else. Uh, headlines have been reading this as... Captain America gets terrible, overwhelmingly terrible reviews or something like that to that extent. And what the headline is not telling you is that they're not reviews from actual cr critics. They're reviews from these fanboys who haven't even seen the movie yet. That's something that also annoys me. I hate fake headline, clickbait headlines that are just wanting people to come and read their articles. So they say, this movie is getting terrible reviews, but they're not saying from who. Um, that's why for my video, I wrote Captain Marvel getting fake reviews from fake fans or something like that. I don't know what the title will be yet, but when I post it up, you'll know. It'll say something to that extent. Um, yeah, I, I just hate I hate that we, we there are fanboys like that that embarrass people that call themselves true fanboys you know there are true fanboys who get excited about movies they don't care if something is dc they don't care if something is marvel hell it could be pixar it could be the incredibles for all we care and nobody th those are the fans that don't fight that don't care that are just excited to see these movies because we're living in the golden age of superhero films but then there are fanboys that make other fanboys look bad, like four, they, like we're four-year-old kids. That, um, well, well, I'm gonna hate on that other movie because that's a Marvel or that's a DC or that's a female superhero, or that's a black hero, and I, ju I just don't get it. I don't get it, and it's frustrating me. And yes, I'm bringing some politicalness to this because guess what? 
there is a lot of political drama going on in the U.S. right now, and a lot of that are the topics of of the whole heated debate. So I think it need. I think some of that is bleeding into uh, the genre movie landscape because when they see that bleeding into genres, they start thinking, "Well, it's the social justice warriors attacking us, forcing these type of movies down our throats." When no, these movies have always been around. If you look, Catwoman and Elektra, the only difference is now they're actually being well made. So, um, and Steel, you can throw Steel in there. Blade was a cool one. A lot of people like Blade. Uh, but it didn't get the recognition that Black Panther got. So, I think some people are seeing that now. Like, seeing all this recognition and thinking it's social justice warriors fighting and you know what there's nothing wrong with being a social justice warrior i'm gonna say that too because i hate this idea whenever someone uh, defends others it means it's a bad thing oh social justice warrior that's what he is or she is it's like so if anything that's a good person and i would want that person on my side defending me too so i don't know what to say about this i don't even like talking about this because i feel like i'm giving those trolls the attention that they want because they want this to, to to be talked about they want people to know that there are people out there but there's such a small fraction that it's like you want to knock them over the heads and ask them do you know what you guys are saying do you know what you guys are doing you're making yourselves look like a bunch of idiots that nobody cares about because this movie is going to do good no matter what i already got my tickets like a month ago so when the tickets were released and there's no way if people are going to go see this movie, they're going to listen to the critics that matter. The actual film critics who are actually going in with a non-biased review. I know there's some people out there that think critics are paid by Disney or critics are paid by Warner Brothers. Guess what? I'm not paid by any of them. I do these videos all the time because I want to. Because I want to talk about my movies that I'm really looking forward to. And I don't really like talking about movies I don't like. Unless they really piss me off, which is very rare. I, a movie can't piss me off if if it's bad. If it's bad, it's bad, and I move on with my life. Because guess what? There's a million other movies coming that I'm looking forward to. I don't just look forward to one specific movie. And I feel like there are fanboys that look for one specific film or one specific, specific franchise and just hope... Uh, and they want to knock all the other ones down as if there's some competition. There's no competition between you and the studio. There's competitions between the studios themselves because they're the ones that want to make money, and that's all they care about. They, they, don't, they don't care about you having this agenda. I want my mar they They're probably happy that you're defending them, <laughs> but they don't care if, if – uh, the uh, if you lose what do you gain from that i don't know i i just think it's stupid but you're never going to convince people so i i don't know i just wanted to get my frustrations out here uh by doing this video it's not to give them attention because that's not i you know it's it, it is frustrating once in a while though and you just want people to grow up because social media the internet in general does feel like high school sometimes and look, I got out of high school tw almost 20 years ago, maybe. I'm going to guess 15. 15 years ago, I was out of... My my last year in high school was in 2002. So there you go. Um, almost 20 years, yeah. Uh, and I just want people to grow up faster because I was never this immature. But then again... I never had Twitter back then, so I never had YouTube. YouTube came around 2006, a little bit after I was out of high school and college. So, I don't know. People need to grow up, and that's all I'm going to say. Comment below, guys, and tell me your thoughts on all this. Do you think people should grow up, or do you think uh, trolls will always be trolls, and that's why we'll, we won't live without them, and they won't live without us complaining about them. So, with that being said, I hope you guys like this video to show your support that you agree with me or uh, just comment below share this video if you want if you know any trolls tell them hey this is what I said so shut the fuck up and until next time take care